Addiction. Losing rights to the original state of mind. It's an overwhelming urge and an uncontrollable desire. It's a feeling that burns so deeply inside, knowing only Jesus can put out the fire. It's lying, cheating, stealing, sometimes even killing, trying hopelessly to control this feeling. It's life that once was and death that will be if the addiction inside keeps controlling not only you, but me. So Jesus, please answer my prayers. I'm giving it to you. I know you'll take care of my addiction. And that takes me back to those forgotten places. You see, things you thought you'd never do, things that were once humiliating to you, now you see that this is you. So you have to go back and you have to find you. You have to go back to those forgotten places. A place that was forgotten, somewhere lost deep within, shattered pieces of innocence, looking back where it began. Images distraught and scrambled of good times and laughs once new. The world was once wide open for success and dreams once viewed, but somewhere in my heart, a place in time forgot. My mind must take me there to find that once known part, forgotten places. Because I looked in the mirror and what did I see? I seen a stranger staring back at me. Someone I didn't know, I didn't recognize, but that stranger had familiar brown eyes. I stopped and paused and looked back again, realizing that reflection in the mirror was an image of me. My heart stopped beating, I had tears in my eyes because I was looking at somebody I did not recognize. Broken glass, shattered beyond repair. Can it be fixed? Or has those tiny pieces all been blown away by that treacherous windstorm that has taken away my face? But as my feet move from space to space, dark shadows appear. Because without my face, the light has faded away. Now will that windstorm retract and bring my face back? Will I then gain control of someone once whole? Some say it's too late, but I still have my faith. You see, my heart speaks a story. Some have been through, and others have heard. You see, my heart speaks that story that could be familiar to his or hers. My heart speaks a story as it laughs and cries with you. See, my heart speaks a story. My heart speaks the truth. So if you think that you're out there, that you're that island that stands all alone, that you're holding things so deep inside that no one else knows, my heart, it speaks to you about the experience of things I've also been through. So don't think it's only you. Listen to me as my heart speaks to you. You know, I woke up this morning with a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling of peace, and it surrounded every part of me. And I'd like to call that my morning glory. As the early morning light rises from the darkness of yesterday's night, and the sweet, gentle breeze is so calming and peaceful, the only thing that I hear are the hummingbirds that sing. I take a deep breath and inhale the sweet aroma that the earth around me brings, opening up my eyes and realizing how amazing the world is that surrounds me. Forgetting about all my worries and all the obstacles that the later day might bring, because this day is for me. The Lord has awakened me with an indescribable peace.